late afternoon sun shines. It's about four, it's about five o'clock. I guess that would make it more evening. Evening moon shines. I did see the moon shine a little bit earlier um, when I was doing DoorDash. Just finished up. It was a good day, a good DoorDash day. I am gonna do this, I'm gonna record this, and then I'm gonna head on home. Um, and I don't know, I, I, I don't feel like hanging out tonight. Uh, I just wanna go and be a hermit. I'm feeling the need to be a hermit and I don't want to have to interact so it'd be good if I could just go be a hermit but you know I'm glad that DoorDash was good um, I you know I'm just gonna claim DoorDash being that fucking good every day that's mine dudes that shit's mine thank you Thank you for that. Thank you for that good DoorDash every day kind of day. I was thinking about doing the Instacart thing, but I don't like it. And, you know, I know something just like, don't do it. Don't do it because it's just going to be a headache. You're going to get pissed. But then I was like, well, you know what? Because there was one up in Conifer like for 26 bucks. It's like, it wouldn't be so bad driving up to Conifer. That, that'd be okay. I, would, I wouldn't mind that. Uh, but I decided otherwise. And I have my window down, it's a little bit chilly. And I got a pee, so I'm gonna try and make this fast. Um, so yeah, DoorDash was good. And that makes me happy. But again, it's exhausting. DoorDash is exhausting. And so, um, yeah, I just wanna go home and melt into my bed and mess around with my book. I wish I had, I wish I had a voice recorder thing. You know, I used to have this really cool voice recorder thing at um, Climax when I worked at Climax. And um, I used to use it for like, I would have to type up the meeting minutes. And we had fucking meetings all the time, all day long, all day long. That's all it was, it was just a bunch of meetings, just a bunch of dudes getting together and talking crap about crap. So, Anyways, um, I don't know why my music isn't coming on. Oh, well. But anyways, they had this amazing voice recorder thing that, you know, so I would record the meeting and then I would have to transcribe it later. But it was cool because it had, it had like speeds that you could like slow it down. And, and so, you know, you could really, you know, you weren't you weren't having to type like a thousand words a minute because you know I, people talk fast I know I talk fast and also my thumb is so jacked up it's so hard to type I have to sit there and I'm like gritting my teeth as I'm typing I'm like oh this hurts so bad it hurts to type I hate that I have to fix that that has to get fixed because it's very ineffective it's very inconvenient and it makes that whole process of trying to put a story together very impossible. I guess I could write it out and pay somebody to type it for me, but no. So, um, but that voice recorder thing would be amazing. You know, I even think that we were able to hook it. Actually, I think we were even able to hook it up to the computer and, and, and then it would like type it out, I think. I remember correctly maybe that's just wishful thinking on my part but that's what I want to do I want to go home and I don't even know if I want to eat I just want to go home and work on my book and hang out so by myself hang out by myself I like hanging out by myself more than I like hanging out with anybody that's crazy that's so crazy I mean I don't have to like worry about impressing somebody or you know passing gas or <laughs> picking my nose or scratching my butt you know I, I, I like hanging out by myself because I'm okay with all that shit I don't know so um, but today I was driving I dropped an order off and I don't know if this has anything to do with it at all so I dropped an order off and 
I had to park on the super steep incline and I was like parked like this with my butt going backwards and so I put the parking brake on and delivered the order and got back in my car and back down the drive which was a pain in the ass and that might have had something to do with it but then you know I'm like driving to my next pickup which was at the mall Colorado Mills and um, I'm I got hot and so I rolled my window down and emanating from my car is this horrible awful sound I'm like what the hell is that and so I uh it was bad. It was so bad. It was like worse. I mean, people were staring at me. It was that bad. They're just like, what the hell is that? I'm like, I don't know. So I get to the mall and I get out my car and I'm looking at all the tires and everything looks good. So except that I didn't look at the front left one. So I look at the front left one and hanging from like the thing that the tire is attached to. I don't know what that's called. That long metal thing. I don't know what that is. It's like, so there's like this wire hanging from it like a it's like a wire that does this like an s and it was like just a little bit sturdier material than like a hanger would be made of and it's like hanging from that thing and i'm like what the fuck so i took it off and i'm like i hope that i'm supposed to take this off i hope this isn't attached to anything so i'm looking at all the other tires to make sure that they don't have like a wire looking thing that looks like this and maybe this thing fell off and i'm like shit so i throw it in the back and i'm driving around and i call kayla right away because chris just changed my brakes and so i thought maybe chris knows what is up with this or you know or if i need to worry about somebody sabotaging my car so they didn't answer their phone. I'm like, fuck, I hope that my car, this isn't, my tire's not going to fall off or something like that. I hope nothing crazy is going to happen or, you know, and so, um, I'm driving around and th th the car stopped making noises. The car stopped making that horrible, awful noise, which was amazing. I'm like, thank goodness. It was horrible. It was the worst awful sound ever. Yeah. I'm glad that I don't know. I'm glad that it didn't do any kind of damage or anything like that. But I, um, so I'm driving around and finally Kayla calls me back and she's like, sorry, I missed your call. We were trying to take a nap. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. She's like, no, it's okay. Oliver wouldn't let us sleep. I'm getting off on too many tangents. So, um, I asked her, I'm like, you know, that there's this thing hanging from my car. Can you talk to Chris? She talked to Chris. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's that wire I hung the calipers from. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, so I can take it off? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. All right, cool. And I was so glad. I was so glad. Because, you know, I didn't know it was, I didn't know if it was, like, supposed to be attached to something or something like that. And didn't know if somebody was trying to sabotage my car. And so it was, it was a very relieving thing after I talked to them because then I knew that it was all good. Everything's all good. So yeah. Um, it's 8.34 and I don't know why my music isn't coming on. That's so frustrating. You usually, usually does that. And I don't like to record without the background. I'm really getting into Beck lately for some reason. I don't know. I listened to this one album. I think it's called Colors. Amazing album. Amazing album. I love Beck. He's a great artist. And then it, you know, it, it put me in the mood to listen to Train and Drops of Jupiter. I love that song. It's like one of my most favorite songs ever. That's me. That's I'm that chick. Checks out Mozart while well, I do Taibo. I don't do Taibo, but I do 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 Chai Chi. <laughs> Tai Chi sometimes. Sometimes in my bedroom I do Tai Chi when I don't feel like doing yoga or working out. I'll do some Tai Chi. I was at the mall picking up some food earlier today and there was like a group of old people out in the middle of the food court doing Tai Chi. I was like, oh, that's cool. I recorded it. I recorded some shit in the mall. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about doing something fun with it. I don't know. We'll see. Um... <sighs> But then there's like this one day, there's this one day that I came to the mall. I'm just going to tell you a little DoorDash story. So there's this one day that I came to the mall and I had to pick up Panda Express. And um, 
when I go to the mall, for some reason, every time I have to go to the mall, the mall I have to go to the bathroom. So, so I usually go to the bathroom before I go pick up the food. So I, I went to the bathroom and I went to Panda Express and, and picked up the food and um, I almost got all the way out to my car and I'm like looking for my keys and I'm like, where's my keys? Where's my keys? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> because I left them in the bathroom. I always hang them on the back of the bathroom stall thing, that hook where you can hang your purse. Well, I hang my keys there because I don't take my purse anywhere. Rarely. It's rare. And so, um, I'm like, shit. So I had to go back to Panda Express. I'm like, I can't find my keys and can I leave this food here? And he looks at me and he's like, what? I'm like, I lost my keys somewhere. I think I left them in the bathroom. This is a DoorDash order and I need to go see if I, they're in the bathroom. And he's like, what? I'm like, I just looked at him like, dude, understand what I'm saying. And so this girl behind him is like, I, it's fine, go. And I'm like, thank you. And I run to the bathroom and they weren't there. I was like, fuck. So I'm like, I'm like in my head. I'm like, how am I going to handle this? What, how is this going to get fixed? I was freaking the fuck out. And I'm like walking down and I'm like, just like looking at the floor. I'm like, shit. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm like, first of all, let's see if we can find a customer care person who can possibly help you out. Just relax, take a deep breath, and I'm like, what if, what if we, what if they don't have them? What if somebody went out to the parking lot and they're just like doing the thing and trying to find my car and they find my car? <laughs> and so I'm like walking and I'm like looking down and and I happen to notice that that there's this girl standing in front of this jewel 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 jewelry case. I have a really difficult time seeing jewelry for some reason, and she's like talking to her mom. And she's like, I don't know, mom. And, you know, I'm like, and I have to look down and she has my keys. I'm like, excuse me, <laughs> those are my keys. And she's like, oh, here you go. I was about ready to turn them in. I was like, thank fucking God. So, man, went back and got the food. Yeah, that's me sometimes. Sometimes I'm just like not all there. Stormy says it's because it's that's the stage of whatever I'm in. I'm no longer grieving. I don't feel like I'm grieving anymore. But she says that's that's the stage I'm in now. Post breakup stage. That's that's the stage I'm in. My my forgetful stage. And sometimes I tell you what, I do forget some shit. I'm like <laughs> Oh well, what are you gonna do? Just forget shit, I guess. Um but <clears throat> I think that this is good, it's 13 minutes and 19 seconds, and so I'm gonna let, I'm gonna end this now, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great night, and I love you, and don't forget to live abundantly.